Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along to this Small Business Focus channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now today in this brief iPhone mail app tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can simply set up your personal and professional emails inside the iPhone mail app and also share how you can use this app for all your emailing needs. Okay, so before you go ahead and dive into my iPhone, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and get you up and running with the iPhone Mail app. Okay, so here I am inside my iPhone. Now it's important to note that I'm using iOS 16.3. That is the current version of the software I'm using on this iPhone. Okay, so first things first, what we wanna do is set up our email accounts with our mail app. To do that, simply navigate over to settings, then locate mail, and then click on accounts. Then here we want to click on add account. Now, depending on the email provider you can use, you can connect that email with your mail app so that you can view, send, you can manage all your emails directly inside the mail app. Okay, so for me, I wanna connect my Gmail account with my mail app. So to do that, I'm gonna click on Google and then add my email, then click next and then add your password. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and connected my personal Gmail account. Now, what I can also do is add account and I can add additional accounts either personal or business email accounts so I'm happy with that for now so what I'm going to do is navigate back to my home screen and then click on mail and here we are inside the mail app first you can see your mail boxes so first up we have all inboxes this allows you to see all the emails in your inboxes across all your different accounts that you've connected to the mail app then we have Gmail, iCloud, and then the personal Gmail that we just connected, and more down here. Now what we can do is click on edit, and we can choose the types of mailboxes that we want to display inside our account. So I'm happy with those. Now you can also rearrange each of these mailboxes if you like, and you can create a new mailbox down below. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now let's create a new message by clicking this button down on the right hand side. And first up, what you want to do is add your email recipient. And you can also add additional contacts from your contacts within your phone by clicking this plus icon. Then down below, if we click here, we can add CC, BCC, and then we also have the from section. If we click here, we can choose the email that's connected to our mailbox that we want to send with. Then come down and add a subject, and then simply click on the body to compose your email. Then what we can do is also add formatting. For example, if we click on formatting, we have access to these formatting options here. If I click exit and then click this arrow again, that's gonna bring up these options. I can also add images, I can scan documents, I can scan text, I can add attachments, and I can also draw and attach pictures to this email. So there's lots you can do within the mail app. Now, if we navigate down here, you can see that we have sent from my iPhone. This is the signature that is automatically generated when you create a new email. Now you can change this. All you need to do is head back into your settings and then scroll down and locate mail again and then come down to composing and click on signature. And here you can choose if you want to create separate signatures for each of your different accounts that are connected to your mail app or you can select all accounts and just create one signature that you use for all your accounts. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to Stuart Gould and then head back to my email. And that's gonna change when I compose a new email. Now to send your email, simply navigate up to the send icon in the top right hand corner. You can click here to send that email straight away or you can hold and that will bring up these different options. Send now, send 9 p.m. tonight or you can send later, you can customize when you schedule and send this email. So what I'm gonna do is exit out of this, cancel, and if I jump into my inbox, and this is all my inboxes. Now if I swipe left, you can see these options here. I can archive, flag, or I can click on more, 
and I have all these options with this email. I can also swipe right, and that's gonna give me these options here, unread or remind me. Now, remind me is great if I want to be notified later on about an important email. So it's really straightforward. I'm gonna navigate back, and that is everything I wanted to cover in this brief mail app tutorial for iPhone. And there is a lot more that you can do with this powerful mail app. It's getting better every time they update it. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you get started with the mail app, how you can set up your email accounts within mail, and then how you can use your mailboxes. And there we have it for this brief iPhone mail app tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this app, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.